okay, video of integrals <coughs> involving inverse trigonometric functions. Let's start with this one. Let's say we have integral from zero to half of one over radical one minus x squared dx. Dx should be du, one minus u squared should be du over Okay, let's let's see. Uh, it looks like which one? Integral of du over radical one minus u squared. Du is the same as u prime dx if u is a function in x, right? Because derivative of u is u prime dx. If we are working with u as a function of x, the answer is going to be sine inverse. Sine inverse. I, I'm not uh, proving this, but we are just using this rule. Sine inverse u plus c, where for sure absolute value of u should be less than 1. Why? Because we are dealing with sine, right? So the value of u less than 1 means minus 1 less than u less than 1. Sine is uh, between minus 1 and 1. So u in sine inverse should be belong between minus 1 and 1, right? between minus one and one. Okay, this one is from zero to half. It's easy. Directly, it's dx over, over radical one minus x squared as du over radical one minus u squared where u equal x over here. So directly the answer is going to be sine inverse, right? Sine inverse of x from zero to half. And we substitute sine inverse half minus sine inverse zero which is equal what arc its sine is half pi over six and what arc its sine is zero zero the final answer is going to be pi over six let's see another one integral of one <coughs> over radical 16 minus x square dx it looks like the same but the rule says radical one minus u square so i will try to do this as one minus x square so it's integral of 1 over, right, uh, it's dx over radical. How to make this 16 as 1? We take a 16 common factor. It's going to be 16 divided by 16, 1 minus x squared over 16, right? So it's going to be integral of dx, 1 times dx, dx over 4 radical, 1 minus, what is x squared over 16? We can write it as x over 4 squared. So what is u over here? u is x over 4. So let's do this instead of dx. Let's do it d of u, which is d of x over 4. Over, leave this for now. Radical 1 minus x over 4 squared. That's great. If u is x over 4, then this is du now. What is the derivative of x over 4? It's 1 over 4. So this is true because we have here over 4. So directly, dx over 4 is equal to dx over 4. Because the derivative of that is 1 over 4 dx. So it is dx over 4. So directly, d of x over 4 is equal to dx over 4. So I didn't change anything yet. The final answer now, it's du over radical 1 minus u squared. So the final answer is going to be sine inverse, right? of sine inverse of u and what is u it's x over 4 plus c done again another one integral of 1 over integral of 1 over radical 1 uh, minus 2x minus x squared dx which is equal which is equal same but I have to fix this over here, right? Integral of dx over radical. That's easy. Okay. To complete the square over here, we take the coefficient of x, which is 2. And we divide it by 2. Always divide by 2. It's 1. We square it. 1 square is 1. We add 1 and we subtract 1. So 1 minus 1. Minus 2x minus x squared is equal to integral of dx over radical 1 minus 1 min plus 2x 
plus x squared taking the minus common factor which is equal again integral of dx over radical 1 minus it's 1 plus x to the power 2 identity i i did completing the square i made this 1 plus 2x plus x square a uh, as a square plus 2ab plus b square as 1 plus x to the power 2 that's great so what is u over here it's 1 plus x the same uh, rule we are to, working with inverse sign right it's du and i did not change anything because what is the derivative of 1 plus x it's 1 times dx so the x is equal to d1 plus x so directly we can change the x into u which is 1 plus x without changing anything so we leave it as it is 1 minus u square the final answer is going to be sine inverse u plus c and that's it let's do another one <clears throat> let's do another one okay integral integral of <clears throat> Let's say integral from 1 to radical e of 1 over x radical 1 minus lin square x. That's good. Dx. That's great. Also, it's easy. It's equal integral from 0 to radical 2, uh, to radical e, I mean, um, of, okay. What is u? u is lin x, because this is u square over here. Lin square x is u square. So we make this l d lin x. What is the derivative of lin x? It's 1 over x dx. So 1 over x dx is simply d of lin x, right? Over radical, 1 minus lin square x. We didn't add anything, so we, we, any constant or anything. So we don't change, we don't multiply with anything outside. That's it. It's du over radical 1 minus u square. So the, the, the uh, answer is sine inverse u, which is lin x from 0 to radical e. And that's simple now. We just, it's sine inverse lin of radical e, right? Instead of x minus sine inverse of len zero right sine inverse of len zero so it is simple or it's better for you i'm thinking of something if we said that u equal it's much better because this one is is uh, we have we need to we need to uh, uh, make it more uh, uh, it's complicated a little bit we need to make it e power half and lin zero is minus infinity sine infinity is what it's it's better for you to say since u is lin x so for x goes to one this means that u goes to lin one which is zero right now this is one anyway this is one not zero so Okay, and uh, for x goes to radical e, this implies that u, which is equal to lin uh, x, it's uh, lin radical e. This means it's lin e power half, which is half lin e, right? And lin e is equal to 1, so it is half. Directly, you can find the answer now, right? Uh, this is uh, sine inverse of half. And minus sine inverse of lin 1. Lin 1 is 0, so it's sine inverse of 0. What angle, what arc makes inverse, uh, uh, makes the sine half? It's pi over 6, and this is 0. So pi over 6 minus 0, the final answer is going to be pi over 6. That's it. Same for other trigonometric rules. For other trigonometric rules. Inverse. Integrals. I, I made just four for sine inverse. 